What's up, all my investors? It is Shadon. I'm back again with another Shine Man's video talking about how I'm going to get this moolah or get to this moolah. Whatever you want to call it, cheese, cheddar, moolah, bread, cash, Bitcoin. Now we got we to gotta mention Bitcoin. Um, today I'm talking about the best foreign investment stocks that I'm looking at. I'm not telling you that you need to buy these, but I recently changed my investing strategy. So I'm open to this foreign investment because if our economy tanks, I'm hoping that those other economies out there are doing way better than us and, and are figuring it out while we're trying to figure it out. And if they and if we all figure it out at the same time, then hey, it's even better for me and my strategy. But before I get into any more details, I do want to show my appreciation to all the first time, last time, People that have been here since day one watching, I appreciate you all either way. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up on this video. Subscribe. Please subscribe. Right? YouTube tells me that y'all don't be subscribing. You're watching me right now and you ain't even subscribed. It doesn't even take that long. Don't do me like that. Hit that little subscribe button and hit that bell while you're at it too. If you want to join the Stocks Group Chat, shoot me a DM above. I will get you all the details. It's called The Future Millionaire. Shout out to all my future millionaires, we in there sharing information, having conversation, and the goal is to build generational wealth. Now, let's get back to these foreign investments, the best in my eyes that I'm watching right now. And hey, if I missed any of them, please, if I missed one that you think should be on the list, let me know in the comments below. The first one I want to talk about is Jumia, <laughs> ticker symbol J-M-I-A. This is the, uh, the African, Africa's version of Amazon. They beat Africa to it, even though they're not even owned by an African company, but I think it's like a German company or a European company. They got to Africa first and they're pretty much the Amazon of Africa trading at like, I think they're about like 60 bucks, if I'm not mistaken, 50, 60 bucks. Um, it still might be a little too early right now. I gotta watch how that, that stock plays out. But if it sees any, any type of correction, excuse me, if it sees any type of correction, it can definitely be a stock that you should get into. I'm going to get into it, uh, you know, but I'm just very patient. I like watching stocks for a little bit and studying them a little bit just to see how they're doing. You know, I'm new, I'm new to this in investment uh, strategy life. So we're going to continue watching them and see how they do. The next stock is going to be T, ticker symbol THD. This is a Thailand stocks ETF. I believe that they have like the top 30 or 28 stocks in Thailand. Um, and you know, you may be wondering, well, Thailand, what the hell should I? There is so much untapped potential in Thailand as an economy because they are so large in population and they're still lacking some infrastructure that we have uh, to get everybody in their population uh, connected. But like I said, I'm looking at untapped potential when it comes to foreign investment. And I really do feel like if this ends up being one of the next big, you know, areas, you know, I'm sure the Thailand would have to fight with China, probably not fight, but like work that out with them. But it's still untapped potential. They have a, an enormous population um, out that way, Asia. And I think that this ETF could be good. It's trading around like 80 bucks right now. I'm also looking for some sort of a pullback, but I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my ear close to it just in case, you know, to make sure I don't miss any opportunities there. Um, I'm sharing these stocks, the bare minimum to you guys so that you can go out and search yourself. Like I said, I'm not telling you to buy these. I'm just saying if you're also interested in foreign investment, investing in stocks that are not mainly focused here in the United States, these may be some you want to look out for. The next stock I need to talk about, I need, I gotta talk about is NEO. NEO, EV company based out of China. I've done videos on them before. I've done videos against them. I've done videos for them. Um, but this is a foreign investment, a hedge against Tesla. Uh, still at an affordable price, around like 50 something, 50 something, 50, 60 bucks. Still affordable as far as what they, you know, what they plan to do and how they're going to do it. Uh, their battery, battery swapping technology 
is is something that is becoming interest to other countries out that way and uh you know it's backed by their government and like i said it's something that won't affect like if, if america goes down and the economy tanks over here it's something that won't be affected because it's in a whole other country it's serving a whole different consumer and who knows maybe maybe neo will come to america one day maybe neo will come to america one day i don't know but keep your eyes closed to neo as i mentioned before this one could be a hit one day the last stock that i want to talk about how could i forget how could i forget that i have to i feel like i always have to mention them canadian base canopy growth ticker symbol cgc currently trading at like 38 dollars has 15 to 20 percent upside y'all seen that run that you that happened recently um a few things are waiting and their main consumers right now are in canada but they also do have a deal in play that when uh, cannabis becomes federally legal they will acquire an american company acreage holdings you know uh to expand their business they're backed by one of the biggest liquor distribu distributors in constellation brand so like i said i'm giving y'all the bare minimum so y'all can go search this like the main idea behind these foreign investments is to hedge against our economy this is risk management i'm just Managing my risk. I want to make sure that if our our economy tanks because we're printing too much money, if we go into like a double dip recession, I'm invested over here in hopes that they don't also go into a double dip recession in hopes that they continue to rise if we fall or hopefully we both continue to rise and then all my investments are just on the rise. So it's, a, it's a very complicated investment strategy. If, 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 if I'm losing you, I'm very sorry. But I think that these stocks are definitely worth watching. Let me know in the comments if you agree, disagree. If I missed your favorite foreign investment stock, please let me know. I appreciate you all for watching. Keep doing your research. Stay sharp. There can be either a, a, a continued rise in this bull market or it can turn bear very, very quickly. I appreciate y'all for watching. I will see y'all tomorrow.